A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 2 verse 8 through to chapter 3 verse 4. That says the Lord, You, son of man, hear what I say to you. Be not rebellious like that rebellious house. Open your mouth and eat what I give you. And when I looked, behold, a hand was stretched out to me. And behold, a written scroll was in it, and he spread it before me. And it had written on the front and on the back. And there were written on it words of lamentation and mourning and woe. And he said to me, Son of man, eat what is offered to you. Eat the scroll and go. Speak to the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth and he gave me the scroll to eat. And he said to me, Son of man, eat the scroll that I give you and fill your stomach with it. Then I ate it and it was in my mouth as sweet as honey. And he said to me, Son of man, go, get you to the house of Israel and speak with my words to them. The word of the Lord. Dearly beloved in Christ, peace and joy. We thank God once again for the gift of our precious lives and for the gift of a new day. Tuesday, 14th August 2018. For in him we live, we move and have our being. Praised be his holy name now and forever. Today, Holy Mother Church celebrate the memorial of St. Maximilian Mary Kolbe. St. Maximilian Mary Kolbe was born in Poland on 8th January 1894 to Julius and Maria Kolbe. He was baptized Raymond. He entered the order of Friars Minor Convertuals. He was ordained priest in 1918 in Rome. As a young priest, burning with love, for the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, he founded an association called the Army of Immaculate Mary and later Knights of the Immaculate. Under the protection and patronage of the Immaculate Virgin, he set up printing presses and founded a community to carry on this work of evangelization through the printed word in the year 1930 as a missionary to Japan. He returned to Poland in the year 1936 and became the director of the Poland's chief Catholic publishing complex, thus incurring the wrath of the Gestapo in 1939. He was imprisoned for his anti-Nazi propaganda. He was released and rearrested in February 1941 for aiding Jewish refugees during World War II and deported. On July 24, 1941, one of the prisoners in the concentration camp escaped. As a result, in keeping with the practice followed there, 10 men were selected at random to die out of starvation in an empty bunker. Among those selected was Franciszek, a father of nine. He wailed, No, God, not me, please. What will become of my poor wife and children? Thus deeply moved, Father Maximilian Colby, making him step out. He came out of the ranks and standing before the commander, pointed to the sergeant and said, 
I am a Catholic priest from Poland. I am old. I want to take his place because he has a wife and children. Father Maximilian Kolbe continued to be the source of strength and comfort for his fellow condemned prisoners, diligently preparing them to meet their end, praying and singing praises to the Lord instead of weeping in despair. On the day Father Kolbe died, after all the condemned had died, he was injected with carbolic acid. After his remains were found to be in a state of illumination in a dark cell before being cremated. He was beatified by Pope Paul VI on 17 October 1971 and canonized Pope by Pope John Paul II on 10 October 1982. Dear friends, in our text today, we read about the call and commissioning of the prophet Ezekiel. The prophet Ezekiel, the son of Buzi, was given a vision of the glory of God's presence in yesterday's text. And today, he is called, chosen and sent with a specific mandate. The mandate was for him to go to the house of Israel and speak the word of God to them as a sign that whatever he was being sent to go and say was not his, the Almighty God asked Ezekiel to eat the scroll that was being offered him and to fill his stomach with the scroll. According to Ezekiel, when he ate the scroll, it was sweet as honey in his mouth. The truth is that the word of God is sweet. It is very sweet and nice to eat. It sweetens our lives and gives us some pleasure. The word of God, whether it is of lamentation, mourning or woe, is always sweet and consoling. The word of God truly gives us joy and happiness. This joy and happiness we are not to keep for ourselves but share to others who desire to love the Lord God and follow him. For this reason, if we are filled with the word of God, then our speech must be that of sweetness. Our speech must be one of truth. It must be one that promotes the good, that loves and that encourages. The words which come out of our mouth must be words of blessings and not curses or insults. Beloved, eat the word of God every day. Eat the word of God and be as sweet as the word of God and proclaim the sweet word of God to all who seek the Lord and love the Lord. May the blood of Jesus cover you, cover your family, cover your business, and deliver you from every evil of today. Remember to pray your rosary today, meditating on the sorrowful mysteries from Father January of the Catholic Archdiocese of Accra, Ghana. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you now and forever. Beloved, stay blessed. Peace and joy.